Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Funko Pop Central. Today, I'm going to be showing you the entire Incredibles 2 Funko Pop set, so let's get right into it. Hey guys, before we start, yes, I know I am missing a couple of pops from the set. I'm missing the uh, the, the regular Violet, I'm missing the FYE Jack-Jack, I'm missing the Game Planet Jack-Jack. And there might be one more, but I'm pretty sure those are the only ones I'm missing. And I already have, like, the Hot Topic Jack-Jack, so I really don't need the Game Planet Jack-Jack. But I might be getting one, which would be kind of cool, because I do like the sticker. But, anyways, guys, yeah, we're missing a few pops from the set. But, I mean, that's not a good title. Almost all the Incredibles pops, so we just we just went with all. Okay, so we are going to go in order of um, the number that they come in the set. So, obviously, starting it off at 363, we have Mr. Incredible. Now, they already made a uh, original Mr. Incredible um, from the, just, like, the first Incredibles movie. But I think this one looks so, so much better. Um, he's more, like, in a fit um, kind of position. He's got his hands on his hips. The other one, he looks a little chubby, which I guess he is a little chubby in the movie. But I just think this one looks so much better. So, there's Mr. Incredible. At 364, we have Elastigirl. This is a really cool one. Like her husband, she has her hand on her hip. And this one looks very similar to the original, but they made a little, uh, a few little details uh, a lot better. Like the hair in the wind um, is a little bit better on this one. And she also has her boots and her gloves on, and I think this pop looks awesome. So next up we have Violet. This is 365, and this is the Invisible Chase version of Violet. Um, I don't have the original one because I got the Chase one from Toys Unlimited, and um, so I didn't really want to get the regular one because I thought the Chase was a lot cooler. This one I'm really nervous about taking out of the box because it's very fragile. Um, it doesn't stand very well. As you can probably see, it's kind of tilting over to the right a little bit, um, even with the stand it comes with. And uh, a lot of people's have been breaking and their arms have been um, kind of coming off the uh, the socket a little bit. So very dangerous to have it out of the box right now. But taking one for the team to show you guys this up a little closer. And I do like how it is completely clear. Like it's not cloudy like the Master Chief from E3 was just uh, that was released a couple of days ago. So I really, really like this uh, clear pop. Next up, we have Dash, and I really like how they posed him, just kind of like as a happy kid. Um, he doesn't have a mouth, so you can't tell he's smiling, but um, we kind of can infer that because of how his eyes are kind of um, in the position where it's like he's smiling and his cheeks are pushing his eyes up a little bit. So, super awesome one. Plus, by the way, he's standing. He just looks super happy. His legs are straight up and down together. Um, really like how they portrayed him in pop form, so this is a really cool one. Next up, we have probably the most powerful out of all of these supers, um, and it is Jack-Jack. Super, super awesome one. This is one of my favorite characters from the show, and they made a ton of pops of him. I do have, I think, four of the pops. I think they made six, so we are a little short. We still have to find a couple of them, but this one is really awesome. It comes with a stand. It doesn't really need it just because he's on kind of all fours there, but guys, this one is super, super cute, and it's definitely a lot of people's favorite Incredibles 2 pop. So here we have another Jack-Jack. This is a Hot Topic exclusive Funko Pop. And this is super cool. He's showing off one of his superpowers and it's chromed out. This is when he turns all metal. Also, you can see me in the reflection there. But this is when he turns all metal in the first one. I actually haven't seen the second one, so I don't know if he uh, uses this power in the Incredibles 2 movie. But who knows, guys. He might, he might use all of his powers, but this is a super, super cool one. Next up is Frozone. So this one is awesome. This is one of my favorite characters from the Incredible series. And I think he has a really cool superpower too. He does the ice thing. And I always loved watching the scene in the first one where he makes the two cops freeze. And I just think he's such a cool character. I love how they made him kind of like surfing on his own ice in the pop. I think that was a really nice touch. And they really didn't have to add the extra detail, but they went the extra mile to do it. And I think it was well worth it because this is an amazing pop. Next up is Screen Slaver, and this is a super creep one. This is definitely a bad guy. I mean, like, how is this guy not a bad guy? His head is tilted towards the side, and he has a fist up in the air. Like, this is definitely a bad guy. But then it kind of throws you off because he just has, like, work pants on and, like, Converse sneakers on. So, I don't know. It could be... I don't know. We'll see in the movie. Um, I know a lot of you guys might have already seen the movie. Try not to leave any spoilers down below, just for me and other people that are watching this video that haven't seen the movie. I just thought I'd put that out there, but this is Screen Slaver, definitely a bad guy, and I think he looks pretty cool. Speaking of bad guys, we have the Underminer up next, and this guy, he was haunted my dreams for like, what, 14 years? Because the movie came out, the first one came out when I was 4 or 5, and I've had to wait to see what happens to him, because he's at the very end of the movie, um, the Incredibles 1 movie, and I've had to wait like 15 years to see 
um, how he turned out and how what havoc he's causing on the Incredible Family. So, not very happy with this guy, but it still is a really cool pop. He's got some very yellow teeth there with obviously his Underminer helmet on. So, super cool pop, but I really don't like him. Here we have another Jack-Jack, and this is a super cool one. This is Monster Jack-Jack when he gets all angry and turns into a, like a complete monster. He has huge biceps and not a very nice set of teeth. So this is a really awesome one. I think my favorite Jack-Jack out of all of them, but I probably shouldn't speak too soon because I really like this next Jack-Jack too. This is Fire Jack-Jack. This is a Target exclusive. Also, if I didn't mention that last one, the Monster Jack-Jack was a Funko Shop exclusive, um, and it took about a half hour to sell out, so not too quick but it was a, a pretty sought after pop but this one is super cool um if you guys have seen my mini hunt on this pop i went into a little more detail on it but it's like a pop inside of like a plastic case so it's really cool i really like it go check out my other video um if you don't know what i'm talking about but super cool pop and i think this is actually my favorite one i like it a little bit better than the monster jack jack Alright guys, and last but not least, we have the pop that came without a stand. I can't find the stand for this one. I don't know if mine didn't come with it or if I took it out and it fell and now I have no idea where it is. So, I don't know guys, but it's leaning up against Lucio there. Um, this is a Target exclusive Elastigirl. This is the Miss Incredible one where she's at her new job. Like I said, haven't seen the movie, so don't know too much about it. But I think this is going to be really cool. I think Elastigirl is finally going to get put in the limelight instead of Mr. Incredible, which is cool. Um, so she has the stretched out arm there, which is awesome. I think she's she's one of my favorites in the movie. Um, I really do like this pop. Definitely better than the um, other just common ones. So yeah, there is the very last pop in the set. So guys, here's just a little recap here. I'm just going to kind of go through... You can't really see Frozone in the back there, but um, here's kind of all the pops there. And a super cool set, one of the best Disney sets in my opinion. I really, really like it. There's a lot of variation, there's a lot of color, there's a lot of different characters, um, bad guys, good guys. So, super cool to see that. There's a ton of Jack-Jacks, but who doesn't like Jack-Jack? So as you guys can see, I have a huge mess to clean up, pops all over the place, boxes all over the place. So I'm going to get on that. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if this is the first video you've seen of mine. It really helps out the channel. Anyways, guys, I'll see you next time.